a Disney princess uh, fan growing up? I entirely was, yes. Okay. Yes, I was like many, many small little girls obsessed with Disney um, and dressing up and pretending to be a princess. And, you know, I, I, I just think that the child version of Georgina would have freaked out if she could have seen into the future and seen that she would get to play Elsa. It's just, uh, it's been incredible, yeah. So you were a real life princess. What is it like? I, all the secrets. Oh my gosh. Um, well, it happened so quickly. I I was on my honeymoon and, and put the audition down on a remote island and sent it off. It was, and then a week later was in Vancouver. So it was, it was complete whirlwind. Um, so I had about two days to prepare. Um, I know, it, I mean, it was fast, but um, as soon as I put on the blue dress, something just happens. I mean, it's such an incredible costume. It changes how you walk and breathe and move, so, you know, that gave me a lot of the character, and um, they actually based Elsa when they were drawing her and her movements um, on a ballerina. So I studied ballet years ago. Oh, my God, a very out of practice. Don't ask me to pirouette. Oh, I could probably pirouette, but I couldn't do much else. Um, so, yeah, I looked at how she moved, and I tried to do it that way as well and um yeah but obviously the creators of once upon a time really wanted to humanize her and wanted her you know they didn't want her to be a caricature they wanted her to be a real woman with you know real problems so um yeah i guess it was about trying to find the emotional crux of her and, and being true to that but yeah it was a bit overwhelming you know wanting wanting to be wanting to um <laughs> not screw her up for the fans <laughs> <laughs> okay, so speaking of the fans, Elsa has yes. quite a following. Have she you does. had any, like, crazy fan encounters in your Elsa costume? Oh, my gosh. Just, um, yeah, I mean, children just obviously, when they see you in the costume, they, uh, yeah, it's like they're seeing Santa Claus or, or something. One one girl was um, going into the dentist in Vancouver, and, and she was, look, she was crying and so upset to be at the dentist, which, fair enough, you know, it can be traumatic. So I just thought, I'm going to just look at her through this window and maybe she'll catch my eye and I can make her feel better. So I just stared at her and stared at her like a weird, creepy person dressed in a blue dress. And I was staring at her and eventually she looked at me and I went like, whoa, woke to her and like did the little Elsa hand and she's like, mommy, mommy, her whole face lit up and by the time her mum turned around, I was gone, but hopefully she was less scared to go to the dentist. If Elsa waved at me, that would totally make my day. <laughs> So Me have, too. <laughs> and you have some pretty epic ice powers in the show. Tell me, if you could have any superhero power in real life, what would it be? Uh, it would definitely be Elsa's powers because, you know, I, I uh, believe in climate change, that it is happening. Um, so I would refreeze the solar ice caps and hopefully slow down global warming. So we need Elsa. Where is she? We need her. We don't have Elsa here in L.A. No, we need her in L.A. as well, just to stop the four-year drought or just water some people's lawns with snow. That'll melt, and yeah, that'd work. Some snow in L.A., you never know. So this film is a little bit about love, a little bit of romance. Tell me, what's something you've learned about love in the past year? Something I've learned about love? Wow. Um, I've learned, let me think. I got married uh, a year ago. It's nearly our one-year anniversary. And, um, and yeah, I've learned that, uh, I don't know, just to um, always listen to the other person and um, to laugh, laugh as much as possible and, um, and you know, cook together. I think that's, that's a key to love. If you can cook together, you can solve anything. <laughs> that's good advice. Okay, and last question. What are your plans for your one-year anniversary? We're going um, to Modena in Italy and eating ourselves to death, I think, yeah. So we're going to be in Italy for the for three weeks. So I've never been, Josh has never been, so we're very excited. Well, have a blast. Thank you so much for talking Thank to us. Thank you for having me on the red carpet. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you. It was so nice to meet you. You too.